Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a bunch of fabric scraps that will be going on eBay as penny auctions. A penny auction means that the auction starts at one penny. It is free shipping. It is for USA only. I have a lot to go through. I'm going to do, you know, what I can for today, but, uh, you know, this is crunch time for me. I'm trying to get rid of this stuff, so subscribe if you like fabric scraps so you will be notified via video when I do these kinds of lots. Here's one box. Now, I know some of what's in here because it's mostly new stuff that, you know, new remnants and scraps that I just created. A couple of these things are, you know, stuff that I've had for a little bit. Wait till you see the other box. You probably won't even be able to see it all. <laughs> this box is filled. And I know that there has to be a lot of treasures in here. Uh, I mean, look at these solid strips. Well, they're not solid. They're like a mottled color. I mean, there's just so much. Obviously, this is not going to be one auction because this is too much stuff. It would cost me a fortune to send. But we're going to go through that a little at a time. Let's start with this one. This will indeed be one penny auction. These are strips. I don't know if they're all the same, but look at the really pretty um, image. I don't, I don't know, design, pattern, whatever. There might be, oh yeah, there's some longer ones. I think most of them are going to be like this. So let me tell you really quick. These are about, oh, 23 inches. This part is two. So if you wanted to, you could cut those fruits into two inch squares. And, uh, or you could go out a little bit bigger and whatever, or you can use it in a strip quilt, you can use it in crumb quilts, and all that stuff. And there's quite a few of these. Let's see, one, two, three, this is a short one. I think the rest are all long ones, four, five, six, seven. Something like 12 strips, I mean, you know, don't hold me to that. I'm going to have this uh, by weight, and I'll give you an idea of how many yards total the weight would equal if it was all just one piece. Okay, now this, I don't remember. It's a panel of some kind. Let me just get this out of the way here. Ooh, look at this. I remember getting this at Marden's and I never listed it. Oh yeah, I had bought it on purpose for penny auctions. Okay, I remember that. And I think I was going to cut the squares and have two, four, six, eight squares for, you know, for a penny auction. But now I'm just giving you this. And, you know, these are really nice animal kind of blocks. Let me give you an idea. You know, you could probably get like nine inches or, you know, ten inch squares out of this. Oh yeah, you should be able to get some nice ten inch squares with these beautiful animals. I will have some close-ups, but let me show you. Uh, just look, look at that. Just nice. Okay. These are new remnants that I just created by cutting fabric for my sails. These are all full width of the fabric and, you know, various sizes. I think everything would be under half a yard. You know, this is even smaller. So you have these prints, and then you have these prints, which are really cute. You have a little, a little dude going fishing, and then you have some carnival, and you can see different sizes of that. Here's the fishing. Again, all full width of the fabric. And uh, so, again, you could make some nice squares out of this or cut some strips for a strip quilt. The pink is uh, a nice big piece. We're looking at oh, about 25 inches, so over a half yard on that one. And then a little strip like this. This is also something new that I created. You get a, 
remnant of this house fabric. It's considered a schoolhouse. That's what it's called, but it's just a cute house. And you're going to get a partial panel. Actually, a full panel and a partial. I'll explain in a minute. So this is full width of the fabric. I've had these for a while. I opened the bolts only yesterday and sold all, all that I have of this, and I think I have a couple panels left in my flash sale. This is, uh, you know, 23, maybe 23 and a half, let's say 23 inches, so over a half yard of the houses. And then this panel is actually supposed to be a panel with eight houses, but because I did not want to cut an entire bolt of panels that you know, go to here that have just the eight houses. I am selling the panels with the 16 houses. So this is what I'm left with. And you can see on this one, wow, it's better than I thought, but I'm still going to include it. It's very close there to the white, you can see on that side, whereas it, you know, it, it should be that much seam you know, allowance or whatever, extra fabric. So you're going to get this panel, which has 16 houses, and they measure about 8 inches square, and there is plenty of extra fabric for seam allowances, and you can use these here that are, you know, cut close, and just a nice, a nice remnant for you. And then I have these remnants left that were actually a leftover from my sale. This print, these are all full width of the fabric. This is cool. And some modeled colors. Yellow. And then a big piece of this one. Let me measure this one. Wow. This is folded still. Oh, maybe 50 inches or a little bit more. So that's, you know, well over a yard. That is it for scraps lot number one. Let's call it lot number one. It's all this stuff. Here's how I'm going to handle this box. I really want to show you everything that's in this box. So I'm going to show you everything and then I'm going to shut the camera and I'm going to create a couple more lots and we'll start with those. But then eventually everything in here will be on eBay, I hope. And I lost the crumb blocks that I had made that I used to put for auction and also the, com the confetti blocks that I made. And I'm hoping I find them. Will they be in here? I doubt it. This is not it either. I have more stuff, but we're going to look at and see what's in this box today. Let's start with this. These are panels, and if I remember right, I think there might be two of them. It's a fishy. Okay, this I do remember. Has some water damage. It's something that I had from long ago, and I did wash this, I can see, but Still, you know, still good. Okay, let's not get into details about all these things, um, but this is usable. So that will go somewhere, somehow. Okay, this is like a lot of yardage. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's a really cool print. It's uh, mermaids and sea stuff. These are quilt labels. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in that box. It's crazy. Okay, this looks like you know, all strips. I'm sure they must be two inch strips, various colors. And these also look like strips that I think maybe I used for videos. So they were no longer full width of the fabric and I think I was keeping those for various videos. But boy, some nice prints here. This is what I was calling hippie beach or something like that. And I think these puzzle pieces have something to do with autism. Not sure. Oh, this is like the one that has water damage. And this one I think might also. I'll study these and I'll see. I mean, to me, there's definitely stuff worth keeping. It'll make its way to something. And I always disclose. 
This I remember. I had bought an entire bolt of this and it's when I had a fabric cutter and she didn't realize it was panels so she just cut so it was like a whole bunch of you know panels that were not whole. But look this is cool fabric. Cool prints. You can get some solids if you want and then you can get this shit that's going on. I mean I just like it. See the bottom? Cut those into squares maybe five inches Add them to your projects. Nice big piece. Various pre-cuts here. You'll be seeing whatever lots I create in this video, so don't go away. A lot more pre-cuts. Oh, and I remember some of these might be pre-washed. Oh my god, you guys, you guys are going to love this. There's some flannel. <gasps> oh, It was all stuff that I was cutting for penny auctions, and then I just never had enough time. Some scraps like this, some more pre-cuts, various things. This is jackpot kind of stuff right here. This is Care Bear stuff. This is, um, oh, something that you can cut. You can fussy cut these squares and you get a whole bunch of different ones. I can't wait to make some different lots here. Don't have a clue how I'm going to do it yet. Partial panel. Oh, you guys. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is um, like a sheep jumping over the moon or something. Oh, some nice strips. Not going to open them all up, but this is birds. Well, let me open it up a little bit. I'm not opening it, but showing you some uh, tulips. Some of this stuff. And more tulips, stuff like this, partial panels, uh, some kind of a flower. I think it was water lilies or something. Oh, look at these. Oh, just one so far. Just a little strip like that. And we're going to have some Christmas, some XOs, just a piece of black, patriotic. Oh, I remember this panel. Uh, bakers doing baking kinds of things. And it looks like it might have been a partial. Some more panels. I remember this is like coffee themed. Piece of flannel. Oh, this I like. It's like zoo strips. I mean, you can cut it into strips for a strip quilt. I remember this. It's all little, um, like snail mail type things. And I got quite a bit of that. Wow. I remember this. I bought these panels and I, I don't know where they are. I don't remember selling them, but I must have. Uh, but this was partial panel. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. And some squares. It must have been a partial panel and I must have cut what was left. Flannels. Nice little stack of flannels that I used, I believe, in a quilt. So that's what's left. And this is actually, um, I'm not sure if it's an actual wood block print, but it's made to look like a wood block print. And I got a nice piece of that. All right, this is what's left in the box, and then I can um, make some uh, sets. Okay, pre-cuts like this, quite a few of them. Pre-cuts like this, tools or something, work zone. I think there's tools also. All stuff that was pre-cut for auctions, and a nice little stack of these. And then one like this, and then the, um, the fabric that I was cutting that from. Oh, that goes all with these, okay? So like that. More partial panels. More of that same. More of that same. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I loved it. And I cannot believe, look, look at this panel. Look at Monkey and the beautiful flowers. A kitty cat. Some more quilt labels. 
Oh, some more Christmas. Big piece. Nice, various size blocks. Oh, the panda panel. It must be maybe a partial. Or maybe I just saved one for a penny auction. Sometimes I used to do that. Just save one that wasn't even a partial. This, oh, the cards. You can fussy cut that. <gasps> Look, I loved this so much. It's all doggies and flowers and I used to actually fussy cut those and just sell the little motifs, but that was so time consuming. Travel stuff. I have some panels like this that are baby themed. Probably partials, not sure. Something to do with a koala. And some more um, kisses and hugs with also the hearts give thanks and you know so some inspirational blocks like that oh i thought this was christmas but it's not but look it's a whole big piece partial panel horse oh my goodness i still have a panel like this that makes a vest and i had sold it saying that you know you can absolutely just cut the fabric like look at all the nice plaid you would get you could get a piece with this little bumblebee oops I, I could show you couldn't I you know you could fussy cut the bumblebee like that all right let me decide what we're going to uh, do for penny auctions everything you saw in the box has been sorted I have a total of eight lots including that first lot that came out of that little box i am going to show you one lot um, i'm just going to have them numbered one through eight so just pay attention to the number you like if you see fabric you like and then you'll know which lot you want to go for this one is easy it's just one print i'm going to take the pictures get the listing ready and if i get tired of doing all that then I will, you know, quit and I'll show you other lots another time. But here's lot number two. You already saw lot number one. Lot number two is this beautiful fabric. There's almost five yards. There could be five whole yards. It's very close to five, if not more. And this has been washed because I had thready ends that were fluffy from being washed. I trimmed that. So it's all pre-washed. Now do know that everything you're seeing has been stored. I can't 100% guarantee that everything is perfect. I will not be doing any kind of returns for this stuff. It's a penny auction that starts at one penny. Do not overbid. Just, you know, know that you're getting older stuff, but this is really cool. It's got mermaids and octopus and fish and all kinds of stuff like that. So this is lot number two. This is lot number three. And I didn't really do anything in particular. I just made piles that that I think I, you know, can fit in a flat rate envelope or something. All right, you get the snail mail scraps. I might have put a piece of this in another lot. I'm not sure. Playing with different things and you get the hugs and kisses oh another piece of the snail mail I had two panels like this and I'm putting one in this lot it's hard to show you but it's like baby pictures elephants blocks stuff like that you get this Christmas yardage and that is probably a yard yes this is a yard and you will have partial squares you know at the uh, ends some really nice Christmas prints on that one like look there's like seashells you won't see it in the you know the close-up pictures <laughs> Santa playing golf and I don't know it's just unusual the little counting sheep or whatever he's jumping over the moon these little inspirational blocks is I think four of them they just say inspirational things give thanks other stuff this uh, piece with the dogs and the bones and all that loveliness the traveling 
Just remember these are scrappy. This isn't like full width of the fabric. Some pieces have been cut out of it. I will give you the weight and what that would equal approximately in yards. You get the little koala. I believe there's two panels in this. I mean two blocks. No, actually there isn't. It's one big one. So that's pretty cool. Makes the nice center of a quilt. Horses, you should have two panels, uh, two blocks on this one, that and that. The uh, vest craft, <laughs> if you want to go back to 1970. Uh, another Christmas one like this. Hey, back that with some red fabric and you have a nice gift bag. And the patriotic piece and another piece of that. Lot number three. Lot number four. This is taking me all day. I'm determined. You get one of the two fish panels like that. Backside. Not measuring. I don't have the time. I just can't do it. It's big. Let's just say that. You get this oddball piece. Like I said, there's some good fabric. Lots of solid. See, it was like, I don't know, some kind of a tree. This is the roots. And this was like the top of the trees. I would use the solid parts. I would also use these parts. Love this. You get this panel or whatever it is. It is a panel. I'll try to show you without opening it all up. This is one piece, the monkey is up top, nice border around it, and then the other side is like a bird, giraffe, another monkey, spider, some flowers. You get this scrap with these little, you know, there's a pretty big piece there with these little motifs or squares that you can cut out and you also get the squares that I cut out. There's a nice little stack there. You get these little squares. There's different pictures like buggy boos and look just different things. That's cool and then these that are again a variety. There's some tools and just that kind of stuff. You get um, one of these partial panels. I think there's more of this in another lot. You get these labels, quilt labels, for your quilts. You get the panda. And I didn't really check, but let's look. Okay, it has the both salvages, so that's good. And it's on the cutting lines. This is... A complete panel. I absolutely remember. Look, this has the tiniest of stain. See that little brown speck there in that whitish line? And because of that, I would not sell it. So, other than that, it's pretty good. And not washed. I don't know if that would come out. It, I got it that way. You get this, which I think had something to do with water lilies. I don't know. I don't remember. But it's, uh, you get one, two, three, and they're the same. You get one of these, like you saw before, with the baby items on it. And you get this whole piece, which I didn't measure. This is awesome, you guys. I will measure it right now, but I want to show you. Look, lots of bird houses. Oh, see, this big piece here is missing. So you're not going to get the full piece. So I'm glad I opened it up. Let's just start measuring where I cut. Gee, you have like 45 inches plus the part above where I cut. Other than that, it's complete all the way down. So it was like 45 inches from here down. And then you have all this on top. This is lot number four. This is lot five. 
I'm starting you out with this awesome fabric. I'm going to let you know how much there is and let's also see what size squares you have. They are about three and a quarter. You could get three and a half inch squares out of these or a little bit bigger, 3.75. Now let's see how much we have of this. All I have to do is this. Wow. About 55 inches and I don't think any of those squares are spoiled. I can see that they are not, you know, cut into. Whoever cut this did a good job. There's 14 per column. And I think there's 10 columns. That would be 140, right? And don't hold me to my counting. I'm getting quite tired. <laughs> Let's just say there's a lot. You're going to get the baker panel. Now some of these are washed and some are not. I believe, yes, this is washed. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares. I will let you know they are, gee whiz, I hate it when I have the wrong end, uh, nine and a half-ish square. You get this coffee partial panel is probably only one. Um, I think those were supposed to be placemats, but you could even just cut this into squares and it would be very unique. You get this guy, a nice strip like that. You get the flannels. I think this is it for the flannels. There's a kind of a bigger piece and then there's I think these are all like partial strips. Some I think are pre-cuts, I don't know. And you get, you know, quite a few prints. I can't remember at all. I, I know I made a video using these flannels as far as I know. You get more of these, well, a whole bunch of these. And I noticed because I had a safety pin there, there's a little flaw right there. And uh, so work around that. And then you get the so-called wood block print which I think is not really a wood block print but it could be I don't know I used to get stuff at Martin's and I used to get unusual stuff there but it's cool lot number five this is lot number six once again you're getting the fish panel I had two and you are getting one in this lot you get these quilt labels. I'm not sure how many there are left on this, but you get these. Oh, you get this nice piece. I will measure this. It's a generous yard and it is complete. And uh, the end squares are not perfect. But, you know, you can use this as is, like a cheater's quilt. You just back it, it would make a little lap quilt, back it, and then just quilt in between the squares. Very nice, nice colors. Gee, you get another piece of this. I had this all over the place. Partial panel. You're going to get these guys. I don't know how many are cut. Look at how cute bunny rabbit. There's just a whole bunch different animals. Look. Oh, a bird. I think that's a fox. Is that a squirrel? Yeah, I thought at first it was a chipmunk. So, porcupine. And then you also get these strips. Um, or it might be just one. No, it might be two. And this is folded. So this is long. And the other one, too, is folded. So you get two nice strips like that. You get the cards. Nice size piece. Yeah, I was going to say, I know I, you know, chopped some of this up, so. You get these. Um, it looks like two. 
one, two, and I think this is just one. So you get three squares of that. You get some hugs and kisses and hearts. Again, you know, incomplete stuff here, but you can work with some of this. You're going to get this. This is very lightweight, but it's Care Bears. And I know I was fussy cutting some of those. So you're getting those squares that I cut and the leftover. You're getting this weirdo odd piece. I don't know, pieces. But you can do something with those. And then these were remnants that were in like with other strips, so we didn't really see them. But see, little like old-fashioned print doggies and some veggies. I think these are full width of the fabric. I'm not sure. A strip like this. A strip. This is not full width of the fabric. That's like a piece. So scraps. These are scraps. That's a piece of batik. Some red. And then this mottled black. Lot number six. I can't wait to be done. <laughs> this is lot number seven. This one is almost all pre-cuts, but I included these two things too. So let's look at the pre-cuts first. There's just a wide variety. This is like India tapestry stuff. There's like some border things. There might be some pieces that are just, um, you know, like this one like this. So there are some pre-cuts. There's some scraps. This is homespun, some batik, and flannels. So it's just a, a an odd batch of things. Some are washed. Some are not. And um, there's like a little, you know, quilt block like that. And uh, I'll try to spread them out a little bit, but I'm not measuring. I'm not telling you how many. Now, there's a nice little stack here. And... You know, so much to play with. Now, this is pre-cuts, but... I can see I got some of the selvage on that one. So that's what I'm saying. There's scrappy things like that. That's that's cool. Oh, these are cool. I can't remember if what happened. I sold a bunch of these, but I might have made a cutting mistake. They're like bricks, but different color bricks. You get a nice pile of those. And then you get these guys that are certainly far from perfect. They have been washed. But there is some water stains on one of them. But for the most part, you know, you, you know, even if there would be like a stain here, there's not. But, you know, you can fussy cut some things. So I'm going to include it um, with those squares just because somebody will like those. Yeah, this one is worse. But I'm not going to bother cutting it off. You're not paying the shipping. I am. So, you know, this one has got like a, you know, a significant stain on it. So you just look it over. If it's something you don't want, just toss it. But I want you to know, these are what I call damaged goods. So don't come back and say, oh, those were awful. I'm letting you know these are awful. <laughs> Lot number eight. What I did with this one, it's all strip kind of things. You get a bunch of these, and I thought they were like two-inch strips. So they're like remnants. They're all different widths, and they're all this mottled print. Lots of colors. This one even has, you know, colors like this, blue and lavender, or whatever shade of purple that is. And... You know, this is really nice, really nice, but it's all different um, strips, and I think that they should be the full width of the fabric. Again, I haven't checked them all, but that's what I'm thinking. The few that I have checked are the full width of the fabric. So you get that whole little stack. Then you get all these cool strips that were borders or something, the one with the birds and the, a whole bunch that are tulips. I'm going to fold as I go here. 
see, and then a whole bunch like this. These, uh, you know, you can use this in a crumb quilt. You could cut that, and then this can be cut in little squares or rectangles, and it's, you know, it's really cute. Oh, more of the tulips, and then you do get this one piece that we saw that's beachy shells and maybe a sand dollar there, and then this stuff. This is strips, but I don't think any of them are the full width of the fabric. It is something that I used for my auctions. You get quite a few different prints. I don't know why I can't be doing this in the right direction. So there's a nice variety in here that I think you will like. You'll certainly find a way to put this to good use. And now I'm just being sloppy. Oh, really, really nice, you know, nice colors and stuff in here. So this is lot number eight. And that is it. Oh, my goodness. Now I just have to finish taking pictures and doing the listings, and then I have to edit this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do want to say when I move, I will continue to have lots like this that I will show you, but there won't be anywhere near as many because I won't have years of fabric to show you. I will never let fabric gather like I have. But, you know, I do a lot of cutting. I plan on doing a lot of cutting when I'm in Mississippi. So I will have scraps, and I like the idea of showing you on a video what you're getting. So do expect more of this after I move, and obviously more of it before I move. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Oh, the link is down below to my eBay. Bye!